Hey guys, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. I'm here on Tuesday, September 14th, 2010. And you may be wondering why I'm sitting here talking to you at 11, 11 p.m. And the reason is, is because I will be shipping my iPhone 4 out to iRescue tomorrow morning. Now you may be wondering why, what's going on, and I'm gonna tell you right now. First of all, I apologize for my iPad screen protector. It's really good until it gets into this heavily fluorescent lighting and then it gets all this uh, rainbowy effect going on. But what I'm gonna be doing is converting my black iPhone 4 to white. Now, um, this is done through iRescue. They're a great, great repair company. Um, I've worked with them before, uh, they do good stuff. And uh, they offered me a conversion of my black white iPhone, or excuse me, my black iPhone 4 to white iPhone 4. Now, as of this date, September 14th, 2010, there is no white iPhone 4 yet. It's been announced, but it hasn't been out for months. And uh, part of me believes that we won't see a white iPhone 4 um, at all. Probably not until next year when the next generation is announced. So, um, I'm going to be sending mine to iRescue to get converted from uh, black to white. So. Um, there are two methods. You can do the self-install kit. It's $215. Or you can do uh, the install where you send it to them for $249 and they'll do it all for you. For only, let's see, what is that, $25 more. Um, I feel much more secure. No, that's $35 more. $35 more. You ship it to them. A professional replaces it. You know, they do hundreds of iPhones a day. I feel more comfortable than doing it myself. So, um, you send it to iRescue, it's 250 bucks, and then what they're going to do is they are going to disassemble your phone, they're going to replace this black um, back plate, the black front plate, and then the black button to all white parts. Now they're not authorized Apple parts because obviously they're not out yet, so they are OEM parts from China. However, um, Brian at iRescue did ensure to me that they are really high quality parts, and that I should be very satisfied with it. They've done um, several hundred transformations from black to white, even they did it to a, an Apple employee, which kind of makes me laugh. But uh, yeah, you know, so basically what I'm doing right now is I just want to show you the outline of my phone and show you um, in a couple of days when I get my other, when I get this phone back in white, the differences and the similarities. And I'm hoping it's pretty much the same as the original iPhone. So right now the camera hole is great. There's a glass cover. Um, there's the flash. Now the flash is perfectly aligned. There is no flash issues. I know that can be a problem when you're installing back plate, so hopefully iRescue doesn't run into that problem with me. So the flash works. Um, it's great. Here's the markings on the bottom, and uh, we'll compare those to the other ones tomorrow. And then as for the front, we have a uh, sensor port up here, which you can't see unless you're in direct sunlight, but it will be visible on the white plate. Um, but it is in Apple's pictures too, so we're covered there. Um, you have your front-facing camera right here, your speakerphone, and your button. Now your button is plastic as always, and I don't expect the Chinese one to be any different. So um, that's pretty much the overview and the outline of the iPhone 4. Um, basically, the only reason I'm showing you this is because I will come back uh, with the unboxing in a couple days when I get it back, and uh, I'll show you the differences. So today is September 14th, and uh, I'll come back to you when I get my iPhone 4 back. Alrighty, so we're back. It is uh, Friday, September 17th at 4.17 p.m. Uh, UPS driver just uh, dropped this off, which is incredibly amazing because uh, if I shipped it off Wednesday, the 15th, um, they got it on the 16th. They got the package, performed the transformation from black and white, and shipped it back out to me all in the same day, and then I got it the next day. So, I mean, you get fast shipping with iRescue. Um, and I think it is an option that it costs a little bit more, but it's probably worth it in the end. We're just going to peel this open. Uh, they got it sealed up pretty good. And uh, we're just going to pry this one open and peel it off. Here's the moment of truth. I might have personal info in there. Um, I don't know. Let's see. So we got a few business cards. Uh, your iPhone has been repaired and tested for quality assurance. Uh, this is a must before all repairs. Charge your battery before use. Um, okay. We are going to ignore that uh, because I do want to try something else. It is really hot today, so hopefully all the parts are good. Uh, these are my old parts. There's the old black digitizer. And did they give it looks like the LCD is a combo in there. So they probably give you a new LCD and a new digitizer, so that's interesting. Uh, we have a back panel right here. The one I was using before, just the stock 
Apple one, and now we have the iPhone uh, 4 in-house. It is very warm just because it was dropped off by UPS. Um, now, please note that these aren't uh, OEM parts. I mean, they are OEM parts. They're not legitimate Apple parts, so these are aftermarket deals. Um, they do look really good, though, and the quality seems really, really pretty high class. Um, feels the same texture as the glass on the iPhone that's white, or excuse me, that's black. If we look at the markings here, they're all the same as they were before. Uh, the camera lens is just in place as it should be. Uh, there's the flash right there, and then the little rubber tread around the side is white as well. Um, up front we have the front facing camera which is obviously black and then we have the sensors uh, for proximity sensor and ambient light sensor all that good stuff and then there's the speaker hole so uh, that's the overview I mean you can tell these are Chinese parts like that isn't rounded as much as the original one is but um, they look pretty high quality now there's the button as well that's brand new uh, it's flush with the device I mean it doesn't look like there's any problem so far I'm gonna power it on before I charge it because I do guys want to show you guys how this is all gonna work alright so I booted up my phone I put the sim card in we're good to go and I'm gonna demo what does and does not work I actually haven't tested this so we'll give it a shot um, First, and uh, the first problem I had with a external replacement, I had a black screen that came in, uh, and the problem with that was that uh, the cameras didn't work very well. So uh, let's launch Camera Plus here. Give that a shot. That appears to be working relatively well. Let's open it in the photo gallery. So as you can see, that works just fine. Uh, we'll now navigate to the native camera application in order to do the one with flash. Now on the last gen, or on the last replacement I had, flash is where the issue came about. Um, it wasn't able to take a picture with flash on without blurring out or uh, whiting out. So we're gonna try one with the flash on. And uh, we'll open it up here. That looks pretty good if you ask me. Uh, white balance is good. Everything seems to be solid. Really high quality as you should expect with the iPhone 4 camera. We'll reopen that again real quick uh, so we can do the front facing camera. And there I am. You can see me, it works just fine. So uh, that's good in that regard. Now let's launch the phone application. We'll call voicemail and make sure the proximity sensor works all right. So that appears to work just fine, that's good. And uh, last, but certainly not least, we'll put the headphone jack in and make sure this works. Very well, that works perfectly. Um, what else can we test here? We can test the uh, microphone. So if we have the... This is the test of a white iPhone microphone. And then we can also test the speaker in doing this. So it's a little quiet because I was far away from the mic. But also because it's not playing through the speaker. Duh. This is the there we test go. of a white iPhone microphone. Okay, uh, we have the sleep or the silent uh, music on switch. That works good. Volume up, volume down, volume up. Sleep, wake. That's solid, guys. I'm highly impressed by uh, the job that I rescued. It. They did a stellar job, in my opinion. This is the iPhone 4 transformation. Let me switch that light down again. Sorry. There we go. Um, so this is the white iPhone 4 transformation. You can get yours done for uh, 279 if they do it or 239 if you do it yourself. So um, who knows how long the black iPhone 4 is going to be the only iPhone 4 you can get. Uh, Steve said today before Christmas, but Christmas, keep in mind, is several months away. So if you want to get a Wi-Fi iPhone now and be the only one with a white iPhone 4 in probably even your city, uh, maybe even your state, who knows, then uh, definitely go to irescue.com. You can save $5 off your order if you go to www.irescue.com and use the coupon code SNAZZY at checkout. That'll save you 5 bucks on anything uh, that you order from iRescue. So uh, that's pretty cool. Right on. Uh, this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.